Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 464. It is the three tins of 2022-23 The Cup along with three hobby boxes of 23-24 Series 2. Straight up 32 team random, so good luck everybody. Um, as of the time of this break, there are 10 spots left in the uh, $60 mixer that features two boxes each of Series 1, Series 2 and extended from 22-23 as well as a tin of The Cup from 22-23 in that. A little bit of a fun break there as well. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the description below. And yeah, anyways, three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. Good luck, everybody. All right. Um, oop, I need to get random.org up one second. That makes sense. All right. I uh, get two lists up. There we go over to here. We copy the list of names and paste it three times once twice third time rocky on top albert on the bottom paste that in and teams three times good luck obviously i mean like chicago's a really solid team to have in this break just because they're decent ish in the cup um not the best not the worst um but you got the Bedar chance, and then, um, yeah, there's there's actually a lot of teams that you want in this. So third time, Vancouver on top, Detroit on the bottom. All right. Uh, here we go. Rocky, the Vancouver Canucks. Chris with the Minnesota Wild. Mark with the St. Louis Blues. Bill with the Kings. Jason with the Sharks. Adam with the Rangers. Brett with the Senators, JKJK, JK, Johnny with the Panthers, Joseph with the Flames, Albert with the Sabres, Joseph with the Capitals, Jean-Francois with the Predators, Joseph with the Hurricanes, Walter with the Devils, Jason with the Lightning, Albert with the Stars. That's, I mean, hey, for the Cup, Wyatt Johnson, you know. Uh, John with the Jets, Edward with the Avalanche, Kenneth with the Penguins, Leonard, you have the Kraken. Got the Beneers and Wright duo working for you there. Uh, Photos with the Ducks, Jeff with the Oilers. Uh, Pierre Benoit with the Chicago Blackhawks, Jason with the Bruins, and Pierre Benoit with the, fl uh, not the Flames, it was the Leafs, I don't know what Flames was coming out of my mouth there, uh, Neil with the Blue Jackets, Craig with Vegas, Raymond with the Coyotes, Alexander with the Flyers, uh, Brandon with the Islanders, Dante with the Habs, and Albert with the Red Wings. So there are your teams. Get them into the team viewer here. One second. Hopefully everyone's having a good day though. As I have another voice. My voice has been cracking up a lot today. I don't know what it is, but it's just. All right. And hopefully we get a button card so then people can make fun of the way I say button. I don't know what it is. Anything with two T's in the middle of it, my brain just goes, it's D's. There's no T's. It's D's. And it's so hard for me to actually uh, change that. And I don't know why. And it's really funny to see people call it out when we pulled one. Um, it's something that's like my family always kind of makes fun of me for. And so it's always is I sent a screenshot to my wife and she just killed herself laughing. But All right. Uh... Yeah, you know, I think you got the uh you got the blue jackets. Right? It's Neil, you know, Neil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the blue jackets. JK JK Johnny got the Panthers. So Blue Jackets in 22-23 are probably the better team. Because you got Kent Johnson. Um, your check's also in there. So, but let's go ahead. Let's get the uh, case open up. So this is serial number. I went with the vibes on this one for the break. I th felt like this might have been the better case. It's serial number 30,500 on it. So it's just like, it's just a round number. Round numbers are always cool. Let's go ahead and let's get the three tins. So um, I'll show the serial numbers on the tins and then I will number them. If people have a specific serial number they want, comment in either YouTube or Twitch. Um, and then yeah, we will go from there. 
but so this will be this is box one this is box four this will be box six so we go down there we go around don't hit the sprinkler all right so this is box six down to here And this is box one up here. All right, so we got serial numbers on this box, on box one here, let me number these. We got, all right, let's focus camera, come on. Gotta work with me a little bit. One of, like I, I'm looking at I'm trying to find camera options. I don't know whether to go DSLR or um like an obspot tiny two type of stuff for a secondary camera, but alright, we got so box one has a serial number of four five three and nine eight two. So if people are interested in either of those numbers. Um Two, I'm just gonna number these. Ooh, oh, well. Well, if anyone asks how that Sharpie mark got on there, you now have video proof. <laughs> Six, all right, that's gonna be easier doing that. Box two is 830 with 197. So, I mean, if you're superstitious with jersey numbers and you have Edmonton, uh, we got 521 with 443. We got a serial of 739, NHL sticker of 935 for box four. We have, I think it is like. I think it's 738. Yeah, it is. It is 738 with 299. Yeah, the Blue Jackets are like, you got the high end and you also got um, some value stuff. But definitely like rare. This one's got a bit of a opened up foil thing here. It's not, it didn't get sealed properly would be my guess, but shrink wrap's still good. Top void sticker's still good. The rest of it's fine. So, uh, 908 with, uh, 590. Yeah. 590. So let me know what box numbers. Um, I'll wait for the first three to get picked in either chat. Uh, if you're not in the break, you can also choose the tins because it just makes it fun. Dang, I can't believe I marked up my uh, my break mat like that. But so let me which let me know which tins we want for the break, and then we will get started. Let me know what tins. And if we don't get tins in like a minute or two, then I will just, let's try three. All right. So three's one of them. Four. All right. And one more box. Got one, two, five, and six. One, two, five, and six left. Actually, we'll open them up in the order pit too. Because I find that the funnest. One, two, five, and six. See, for me, I'd probably be like just tempting fate with the weird peeled sticker. Because it's like, I don't know. All right, we need one more number, one, two, five, or six, if we don't get one in one minute as of now. So when I watch hits, like, I guess it'll be 
that time you see it by like 322 ish. One more number. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite parts is just waiting for a number in chat. Henderson, you got a favorite number between one, two, five, and six? Oh, there we go. Sky with five. All right. That leaves one, two, and six left. So, again, zero numbers. Just so you know what's going to be in the breaks. Especially, again, especially with the release like the cup, um, when we can do it, absolutely we'll try and show serial numbers if it's like down to the point where we don't have cases left in store. It's like a single box, obviously tougher to do that. But if I can show the case on screen, I will absolutely try to. So. You know what? St. Louis is not great, <laughs> but I was trying to think. No, Jake Neighbors is a uh, 2324, isn't? Is he 2324? No, he's 2122, right? Um, Penguins is Poulin, Hollander, and Puiston, and yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Yeah, Jake Neighbors is 2122. Uh, 22. Who do the Blues have in 2223? I'm actually curious now because I felt like I'm going crazy. Uh, Nikita Alexandrov, but I think he went to the KHL because I know we pulled. Yeah, we pulled his rookie patch auto. Um, all right, we'll give it one more minute just until. Just so everyone can kind of get in here in case they are waiting, but. Nice. It's going to be easier searching by the blues and trying to understand. Um, You have... Oh, Will Bidden, too. That's the other rookie, but... <laughs> Henderson also went with five. All right, that's cool. You know, you know what you can get with the blues is a Grant Fear Martin Brodeur dual auto. I forgot that's in there. There's also a lot of Ryan O'Reilly update stuff. There's actually, okay, there is Jake Neighbor update stuff. Jake Neighbor's update stuff. I wasn't totally crazy. I thought I saw him on the checklist, but yeah. Is there a Wayne Gretzky auto in here? Normally they try and like sneak one in for, yeah, Mike Liute. Nope, no, no Gretzky's. All right, so, and again, as per usual break rules, um, yeah, Tyler Tucker too. Um, as per usual with the break rules again, all star cards go to their current team if they're an active player or if it's a specific, if it mentions a specific all star game, which I think most of the all star cards in here do, um, then it will go to whatever team that they were with at that all star game. That's going to apply mainly to like the extended plate booklets and stuff like that. Um, and then Team Canada cards and stuff like that go to. Again, if it's listed as Team Canada on the card, it will go to um, either current team or most games played. So if they are retired, so. All right. Well, I guess we start off with the cup first, right? Just rip the bandaid off and tighten the camera up a little bit. There we go. I won't, uh, hopefully it won't shake as much, but at some point I got to probably look at getting a sharper knife not a sharper knife but like a, a nicer looking knife than a old drywall knife from my dad <laughs> all right here we go uh, mark for the remaining break it is uh the remaining break is 60 bucks a spot it is a tin of the cup with Two each of 22, 23, series one, series two, and extended. So, all right, here we go. Starting off, Demko with a Garland for the Canucks and a Forster. Uh, I don't see any on here for Hofer. Uh, Crosby, Barzell, and Billy Sweezy. 
It's Billy Sweezy here. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like you could also have the best team on paper and get shut out in this break. <laughs> Uh, Kopitar, Wilson, and Kopanen. Nothing fancy there. But I'd really like to see a cool card out of Series 2. You know, it's just kind of just like, hey, Big Brother showed up and then... Nope, I'm still the king. Maroon, Doughty, and Casper. Uh, Mark, if that, break, if that break fills, it will be open today. If it doesn't fill, then it will happen Monday at the earliest. Um, just depending on when it fills. So, Zook, Eichel, and Uvis Belinskis. There were 10 spots left as of like 20 minutes ago. Got a Sorokin, a Kubelik, and a Peltier. Ooh, we got a Outburst Young Gun. I don't think it's Bedard because you'd be able to see the, uh, in there, Braden Point. Well, good start. Connor Bedard, Young Gun. Again, this is kind of why it's fun to throw this in because always nice getting a Young Gun that uh, pays for your spot. <laughs> nice Bedard there. Uh, if we're being critical on condition, it is fine. There's like a little bit, like again, if you're being super critical, there's a little bit of that top edge chipping, but nothing. Nothing insane. Svozil, though, on the Outburst Young Guns, too. Nice little secondary hit there. Yeah. Uh, other details is that it is Canada only, just because, unfortunately, that's how we can operate right now. McDavid, Shesterkin, and Maddie Nice. Base cards on the rest, but yeah, good start. The dart out of box one. Uh, Zegris, Knashko for the Blue Jackets, and Zaban Jed. Well, Columbus, you're getting, uh, you're not getting shut out, that's for sure. Uh, Zuccarello, Austin Matthews, and Mason Leroy. What a good crop of young guns, actually. <laughs> Mainly Bedard, but I guess, I guess Knashko isn't going to be a major name, but Leroy's pretty decent. Hey, Rick. Nice. Uh, Canada is uh, Canada is doing. Jack Hughes, Dylan Larkin, connect me. Yeah. Yeah, it's I. Sometimes I feel like they cross over a little bit. Uh, O'Brien, like Morella is normally with them. We got the old school Todd Bertuzzi canvas for the Canucks. Sometimes I see Morello with, um, I want to say Benson, but I cannot really see your, it's a really small picture, so I can't really tell. <laughs> it's like a, uh. 25, okay, that would have been actually my guess. But it's like a 25, like for reference, the size of the picture would be like looking at the hobby in this corner type of thing. It's like, I think it might be Jeter, but it's like, I know it's baseball for sure. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's a Yankees hat. I couldn't tell if it, <laughs> but yeah it's always chat is always tough to see sometimes all right let's see what we can find here clayton keller with a merzlikens and a stanislav Fuzzel. nice <laughs> yeah you know I never was the biggest Derek Jeter fan growing up. Pedersen, Reichel, and Gritty. Let's go. Best portrait to get. Like, I respect them, but Claude Giroux? 
given the thumbs up on the highlighters, Orange, Stutzla, and Emerson. I wouldn't be shocked to see Emerson get a little bit of love this year. Playing in Edmonton, I do really like his game. Uh, Gibson, Kucherov, Lacombe. <laughs> A-Rod would have been funny too. Apparently quite the character. Tfoley, Damien Giroux, Kirill the Thrill. Fluorescence? I I really wish they did fluorescence in a... Uh, that was the Samsonov, McMahon and Dufour. Uh, I really wish they did fluorescence in extended. Uh, or like, got the good players in fluorescences, because like the Bedard one would have been sick. The red on red. Matthews, uh, Backlund, Clay Stevenson. I wonder if he would be a really good goalie for some team to go and get, because I don't know if he's going to be backup or third string there. I think he'll be third string there. Um, but I'd be interested in going out and getting him really good numbers throughout his entire like hockey career. Copley, we have the dreaded Vancouver Edmonton UD checklist random. The dreaded random of a checklist. Of a canvas checklist, to be specific. Uh, Vancouver is rocky, and I know that that is a random. So Jeffrey has Edmonton, Pelletier, Pelletier. Yeah, that Bertuzzi, that that jersey is sick. I have a, uh, I have the gradient one, the maroon blue one. Sveshnikov, hey, Uncle Leo shows up. Not really Uncle Leo, but um. I have that one, and it's signed by Jerome McGinla. Uh, Bjorkstrand for the Kraken on the Outburst. One of the weirdest things in my collection. See, I think Clay Stevenson has NHL backup, like could be an NHL backup as soon as this year. McDavid, Gustafson, and Bobby McMahon. And I think if you give him like some more reps, I would... I wouldn't be shocked if he's a league average starter. Delorier, uh, Patia, and Konechny. Right, yeah, it's Patia. Nice. I, I'm curious to see what the fan fanatic jerseys are going to look like. Pashnak, Rant Rantanen, and Luke Hughes. I just got to shrink the base cards down. There's a lot here. Um, I've got a mess going on. One second. That is all garbage. There we go. But yeah, like, I hope they turn out to be good. Alright, I just knocked equals. Yeah, I think um, I think Thompson's there. Thompson and Lindgren's a good one too. But like, I think a team like the Canucks, for example, that you know, yeah, they have Patera, they have Shelovs. Having Stevenson in that org right now, I think would be really good, just because you now have three kind of like promising B tier goalies. But I would. For me, for the Canucks, I think, especially with Demko, I'd love to see them go out and sign a backup goalie, like a Kevin Lankinen or something, and pretty much be like, hey, you're going to get 20 NHL starts. You're going to get... But you're going to be the backup every single night, as long as you're healthy. Because uh, on the nights that, you know, our starter's not playing, we're going to give them the full day off. And I wonder if goalies will actually start doing that. but or, Like, teams will start doing that. Because I think those something that like you hear a lot about goalies is that you still have to, even though you're backing up, you still have to do your like game day routines. You don't really get a full day of rest. So nice to see, you know, a little bit of rest in there. Uh, that is a Pedersen, the Wade Allison clear cut, and a Matt Murray. But, 
Yeah, Seattle would be a good team for him too. I don't know. I think he just got potential and could go to a better spot. Pedersen, Zach Benson. I think Zach Benson is going to emerge as like one of the... I really like his game. My my hot take, my spicy hot take, is that he's the second best rookie in this than like series two crop. Hoffman on the outburst in terms of flashiness. Yeah. And I mean I don't know how much faith you have in Grubauer, but that's not someone that I personally have a ton of faith in from a goalie standpoint. Galarian of Drew Doughty, Kopitar and Horvat. A couple kings and an islander. All right, we got Sorokin, Luke Phillip, and Matty Beniers. Dylan Gunther just signed his big extension. Eight years, $7.14 million cap hit. Uh, pretty good get for Utah. Uh, Barzell, Manjay Pani, and Marilinen. <laughs> Rick with the better logo, let's go. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing, right? I think expan <laughs> expansion's really good for goalies. Raymond, uh, Kachekov, and Gunnett. I know a lot of people are against the NHL expanding more, but honestly, I think that they could support 36 teams and even getting up into like 40-ish. You'd have to rework some things, but it could work. Pedersen, Matthew Kachuk, and Matthew Nice. It's just me or have we pulled a lot of Pedersen. Because, like, the talent is absolutely there. The one thing that every single expansion draft has shown is that the talent is there. Uh, Sam Carrick, Austin Matthews, and Joel Teasdale on the Young Guns. It's just not the... Um, the talent's there. It's just not the, like... I don't know how to phrase it. You might lower the quality a little bit, but the dividends will pay off. Sam Carrick, Elias Lindholm, and Owen Beck. But yeah. Like the goaltending talent's for sure there. Um, and I think the roster talent is. We got a gold ecliptic of Ovechkin. Case it style card. Rantanen and Matt Tompkins. All right, two packs to go in the... Warm up, which was a pretty good little warm up. Kachuk, Wierenski, Ridley Gregg is a pretty good little warm up. Got the Bedard, got a Leo Carlson, got a Zach Benson, uh, Copley, Damon Hunt, and Walker Dewar. So, pretty good little warm up. Now it's on to the main show. Now it is on to the main event. Um, again, there were 10 spots left at last check for series or the series one, series two extended cup break. Um, that is our only other break for this week. So, yeah. All right, we're starting off with 10 three. If you're interested though, there's a link to uh, the site, just sephrepic.com. Now we get to the group break tab and it'll be on there. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, it's pinned in the comments. Twitch, for whatever reason, just doesn't let me pin it. So, I don't know. Uh, I think, I think Patera will probably be, they'll probably use him as like a pure backup. Um, from what I've heard listening to sports radio, and like the insiders and stuff that know goaltending is that they want to give him some time in the AHL to rein in kind of like his aggressiveness, which for most players, I think is a pretty good thing or for like most goalies. But I think because of the Demko injury, if they don't get an actual other backup, he will be the backup. But ideally for them, he's their number three slash four goalie. All right, well, we are regular thickness here. I know people hate this noise, so I'll try and talk over it. But I like keeping them intact as much as I can. Ooh, we got red. Not red. 
I like keeping these intact just because um, always like, you know, new collectors who watch videos and can't partake in the cup. Always nice to give them, you know, something. Oh, you're going to be happy, Henderson, seeing the next card. But um, she loves will be fine. I'm pretty sure. Clayton Keller for the Oats to 249 on the base card. We'll go to the back. Even though the back's been pretty solid. Uh, yeah, another pretty solid one. Printing plate, one of one of Matt Sogard for the Senators. Decent goalie. Decent goalie. Sogard for the Senators. Uh, not standworthy. I do need another pack of 180 points before we go too far here. But yeah, I think Patera is going to be, barring any injuries or any signings, he'll probably be backup. But ideally for the organization, he'll be next. All right, we got a Caden Korzak, rookie patch auto to 249. And some of the rookie patch autos are numbered up top. Um, and then some of them are numbered down the side. Yeah, I mean, I think that just, it just depends on the goalie coach, right? Like, if you're, if you can get him to kind of rein in what you think is the biggest weakness of his game, then you'll be thrilled. For the LA Kings, Kaliev on the signature materials to 99. Not the, uh, Best one to get. Also, there's some indent on the back of the card around there, just as like a heads up. But um, corners are going to be what they are. It's again, anytime you get the downside of really, oh, this could be a really spicy card. Oh my goodness. For the Edmonton Oilers Championship Reflections Auto 2 5 of Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky, Auto to 5, Jeff. Congrats. Let's go. Little bit of some corner dings, but like, come on. That's a pretty cool looking card. Gretzky. On card auto to five. Honestly, I thought the next card would have been the like cool one just because of the pattern on the edge, but let's go. Such a sick card. Such a sick card. I love that. Gretzky 2-5. And we've had some really good pulls the past couple weeks. All right, and then this one goes this way. I have no idea what this is. On display. Okay, this is a different set. Cole Caulfield for the Habs of 49. Um, So this is our... Colors and contours replacement, but I like, is that glove? Is that maybe glove or something at the top? Cause it's not like, I'm trying to, I'm going to, I'm just looking up in the checklist to see what this is. Cause like, it looks like it's glove maybe. I think it's just Jersey. I have no idea what this top thing is, what the top material is on that. Like it looks like it might just be paper, but I don't know. I'm curious. It's a different card, but. All right, <laughs> I mean, I thought I think it's just it just says Jersey Jumbo on it, so I don't think this is actually anything. Like, not my favorite card design for the cup. I'll put it that way. But you know, it is a really nice card design for the cup. This guy, this little Gretzky Auto to five. All right, well, uh, ten one was good. Ten two. Ten two. Who picked 10 3, by the way? Who picked 10 3? Millennial. You picked a good 10. That was that was 10 3. Millennial picked a good 10.
this was 10 4 because we went 3 4 5. All right. Next 10. Actually, we'll leave this open for now. Uh, was it all different teams that hit two? I think. Yep. Like seeing that. Like seeing that. Ideally, from like my standpoint, from breaking this, I would like to see 18 different teams hit in the cup. Uh, just because it'd be nice for 18 different teams in the break to get something. Obviously, it's easier said than done, but. All right, put that there. Foam's a little bit looser this time. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think we might have an exquisite RPA in here. <sighs> Man, those are the Bordello one we pulled is sick. I love the look of it. We got the show on the back, but what is our base card? Our base card is a Seth Jarvis. Uh, I would yeah, I would say that Gretzky is a case hit for sure. Seth Jarvis at two forty nine. I mean, it's a Gretzky auto out of five, right? Like, what's beating that? Oh, nice. Uh, Slavkowski, the show to 99 for the Habs. I mean, jokes aside, this probably pays like... It's it's a decent card to get. Also, second card for the Habs. Oh, we'll put that in the recap pile, sure. Let's go rookie patch auto next. Could be nice. It's kind of okay. Alex Vlasic to 249. For Chicago on the rookie patch auto. Chicago rookie patch autos always get you like, ooh, could be sick, could be sick. And then sometimes they're just like, ah, oh, it's just a it's just a plain three color patch. Um, how many thick sleeves do I have? I think I need some more, but uh what wait, let's go here. Uh well, Mark McLaughlin on the exquisite rookie patch auto to 26. Not the uh Oh, they went, they, this is, um, gotta be firm. It's definitely not like a true Bruins jersey, I don't think, because the Bruins, I don't think, went to uh, printed on numbers. I still think they do the stitching on them, but to 26. Uh, so the tins, I actually just dropped all the tins off in store that we opened up for that. And if kids come around, we'll drop them off with, or like give them out to kids that collect type of thing. Let's go to the back. Hey, this card's familiar. Shane Wright, Foundations Quad to 99. Foundations Quad of Shane Wright. I think we pulled 74, but this one's 67. Uh, the McLaughlin's like, it's a cool card. It's just not the best player. And you know what? That's a pretty cool Splendor Auto. Marty St. Louis to 36. So not the strongest hit. But St. Louis autos aren't exactly the most common, I think. Um, the, uh, the I mean, if the Exquisite was a better player, that'd be fine. The Slavkowski on the back was at least okay. The Shane Wright's okay. It just, you know. To be fair, any 10 going up against a Gretzky auto out of five, though. Like, come on. All right, let's see. It was 738. Let's go. Uh, it was 20 of 26. All right, final 10. Um, who's doubled up here? I think just the Habs have so far. Yeah, so. To be fair, the Habs are quite good in the product. Yeah. Yeah, three team skunk would not be good, Albert. Three team skunk would not be good. Well, uh, and again, if there are shoutouts in this break, you will definitely get something headed your way. Try and see what we can put together for hobby packs or whatnot. Um, at least some, at least a pack headed your way, but. And not just like an overtime pack because the you know, price of the break was a little bit higher. So, oh, this tin, this a little bit sticky. 
is, I think it's just normal thickness. It just was, cards were shifted a little bit. All right, well, Chicago's happy with the break. Edmonton's thrilled. Montreal, you're okay. We got another one of those. Oh, we avoided those. Hmm. I would say we have a limited logos in here. But. All right. So we know to take the one off the back too. We have Mr. Taze. 249. The Dostal Exquisite. Yeah, that'd be sick. Off the back, Ryan Getzlaff on the show. 299. 10 of 99. Uh, I'm going to go off the back here. On display of Quinn Hughes, 249. Yeah, these aren't my favorite cards. Not my favorite cards. I think it's just the, uh, like this part, just, I don't know. I don't like it. You might like it. I don't. That's fine. We can disagree on that. Uh, let's go rookie patch auto next. Mad Sogard to 249. Hey, that's a pretty good goalie to get for the Senators. Uh, Senators. All right. Let's see what's hiding in. Well, we're, we'll do that. Oh my, oh, oh, that is disgusting. For the Nashville Predators limited logos of Roman Yossi to 15. What a patch on that one. Who had Nashville? That's a team that you're just like, you know what? Uh, Jean-Francois? And well, Fittingly, I need to go get a sleeve for this card, probably. But I think it is going to be the... We'll see. Yuri Slavkovsky, um... I have no idea what this... Shield Auto? Is this the initial Logo Marks? Slavkovsky Logo Marks. These are clean. For the Habs. These are super clean. Logo marks of Slavkowski. Honestly, in person, it, it looks unfinished. In person, it looks a little bit better. Um, I wish they did, like, next year, Upper Deck, if you're watching this. Um, for 23-24, the cup, having this be, like, the shield be like kind of the plexi acetate thing would be sick. But um, honestly, even without, even if it was just like this with just foiling on it, I, yeah, that's a really nice card. Uh, I need to get a, I'm imagining those are tougher pulls. You can get a sleeve for that. But. I'm organized for once. I know where my sleeves are. Well, I knew where my sleeves were before, but like, you know, I have them easy, easy enough to find. That was a, the first 10 had the crazy high end pull. The last 10 was super consistent. Like three, like two really nice cards there. Yeah. Yeah. Albert, that's very fair. Um, all right. So we have one random to do here. Um, I'm going to check on spots left. But I just want to look up the um, the logo marks and see how tough they are to pull quickly. Logo marks. Uh, one in 15. Okay, so they're a little bit more, they're actually pretty common. Um, the only short print is Jake Sanderson for some reason. In the vets, it's uh, definitely McDavid as a short print. But all right, three times on the uh, canvas checklist. And then again, if you were totally shut out, we'll make sure you get something headed your way. Um, just because, again, it was an expensive break. And we do that in general, but. Um, you know, all right, three times uh, on the team random screen once. Twice, 
Third time. Sure, Edmonton, you can have this too. No sharing. No sharing. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm just going to check to see how many spots are left, and then we'll do the recap. But yeah, what a poll. Um, this is obviously the big poll, but yeah, 10 spots left still. So 10 spots left in the other break. I mean, I don't, I think that Gretzky will be a case hit, but I don't know. I feel like we could also have something strong in there too still. So like it felt good, but I think we can do better. So recap time. Um, obviously you got the Benson young gun, Carlson young gun, Fizzle on the outburst, Bedard popped out, came to say hi, came to say, Hey, we'll see you next year in the cup. Hopefully um in terms of like other kind of notable stuff from the cup we got a so guard rookie patch auto um the on displays i'm not a big fan of those uh hughes to 99 vlasic on the rookie patch auto on display of caulfield to 49 as well kaliev um signature material patch to 99 korzak to 249 on the rookie patch auto those on displays getting two of them in the same cases in three boxes i think is actually like pretty tough to do uh saint louis on the Splendor Auto to 36. Really nice card. Team that you probably don't expect to hit a ton with. Uh, Shane Wright to 99 on the Foundations. Ex our exquisite Rookie Patch Auto is not the best name, but it's Mark McLaughlin. So um, to 26. He was highly touted at the start of the 22-23 season, but towards the end, kind of eh. Really good break for the Habs. Uh, you got the Slavkowski to 99. Obviously the Caulfield. Um Senators, you get this nice little Sogard plate one of one. And then I think our third best hit, like, man, absolutely stunning car. Let's get this all the way down. Absolutely stunning limited logos of Roman Yossi. Just beautiful card to 15. Um, yeah, not much more needs to be said. Stunning card. Absolutely beautiful. Third slot. Second slot, eh, pretty straightforward. Slavkowski autograph. Very, very clean looking card. Um, I almost wish that this was just embossed rather than the foil or like they did cracked ice or something. I don't know, but it's fine. It looks really clean. It's a pretty cool card. I think if you put the set together, it'll look even better. And again, I don't know if the camera captures it well, but the texture on the card is actually kind of like, okay. Like it looks better in person than on camera, but like, come on. We know what the hit of the break is going to be. It's a Wayne Gretzky auto to five. I mean, like. I don't need to say anything else, right? Gretzky out of the five. So uh, 10 spots left in group break 463. Again, that is three bo or two boxes, sorry, each of 22, 23 series one, series two and extended with a tin of the cup from this case. Uh, so 10 spots left. If that fills tonight, then we will break it. If not, then uh, it'll break when it fills.